Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All praise is due to Almighty Allah. Dear viewers everywhere in the world, across the whole globe, today we are going to talk about a picture, but this is a unique picture. It's a picture of a document. A document, but this one is the most authentic document that perhaps you have ever heard of. It's a document that is given to anyone who completes the memorization of the whole Quran without a single mistake. The memorization of 600 pages. This is the Holy Quran, approximately 600 pages. It's called Ijaza, which means a license or certificate or diploma nowadays. But this is a unique type of diploma. It's given to the person who completes, he or she, the memorization of the whole Quran. And when you look into it, you find that it says that all praise due to Allah. And then it goes like that. I, for example, so and so, Mr. Mamdouh Muhammad, have memorized the Quran through... Mr. or Sheikh such and such and such, with the full name, who lived in that area between years such and such, who this person, my direct teacher, learned it from another teacher whose name is such and such and such and such, who lived in this area from year so and so, and then he died in year so and so. But in the middle of the memorization, he passed away. Then I began the memoriz he began memorization from that person, the other person, his sheikh, his teacher. And each one, it goes on, on, and on, and on, and on, and on, until it ends with the, uh, the companion who memorized it from the Prophet, وسلم, who memorized it from... Gabriel, Jibreel alayhi salam, who memorized it, who got it, who learned it from Almighty Allah. It's the most authentic document ever known across history since the creation of Adam until now. No nation, no country whatsoever has ever heard or has ever any other document that's similar to this. It's the most important document and the most authentic document. And guess what? How many documents do we have similar to this? Approximately not less than 9.3 million. 9.3 million people who memorize the whole Quran from cover to cover and the majority of them. Not only they have one document, like this, but some of them have many documents because they learned it through this way or through this way or through that way. This is the most authentic document. And all these documents reflect a beautiful meaning. And a person may raise a question like, how can they memorize the name of all those teachers, 14 or sometimes, in some cases, 20, in some cases, less or sometimes more? But when you ask yourself this question, how can they memorize 600 pages? If they do that, can't they, they memorize the name of 20 people? Of course, they can. And then and only then, when they give all these proofs, they are given the certificate all this is a proof of what? That book, which is called the Holy Quran, that's available in the hands of millions, if not billions of people nowadays, is the only book that had been kept safe and unaltered and unchanged. As Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran and confirmed it, by saying, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafidhun. Indeed, we, and here is the use of the royal we, that 
kept the Quran. We sent the Quran down to humanity and we kept it safe and unchanged. And this is a proof. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in some other verses, which is amazing to know. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said this verse, وَلَقَدْ يَسَّرْنَا الْقُرْآنَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَهَلْ مِنْ مُدَّكِرِ Indeed, we made the Qur'an easy to remember. Is there anyone to remember? What, what a nice ayah, what a nice statement in the Qur'an that tells us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this Qur'an easy to remember. And this is the proof. More than 9 million people across the globe whose languages, not only Arabic, but some people speak Japanese and some people speak Urdu and some people speak English and some people speak other languages, but it is made easy for them and they memorize that book. And a question may, raise, may be raised by anyone. Why do people, why do Muslims memorize this Quran? Oh, wow. They memorize it for many reasons. First of all, this is the most precious book. This is the only divine book. Why shouldn't we memorize it? A lot of people waste their time by memorizing songs and memorizing poetry. But the Muslims know how to use their time effectively. And they memorize the only divine book. And in this way, not only for that, they memorize it because they were promised if they do that, they will be rewarded by Almighty Allah for reading every letter of it, for memorizing every letter and every word and every statement. Also, they memorize it because this is the way to keep it safe and unchange it because if nobody memorizes it, that means that it's very easy to change it, right? Not only that, Muslims use it every day in their prayers. They cannot live without it. The Quran for any Muslim is like oxygen for human beings. We cannot live without inhaling oxygen and in this way, we memorize. That's why at least any Muslim would memorize a portion, whether this portion is huge or small, yet every Muslim memorizes part of the Quran, and this way the Quran is memorized and kept safe without changing. Brothers and sisters, there are a lot of, a lot of things that, that are unique in this picture. When you see this picture, you would say that, yes, if I compare this book with any other book, human or divine, you will find that there's not a single book that has the same rank of the Quran. And the reason is, as I said, this is the only divine book. And just by this, you would know that this is the book of Almighty God. This is the only book, and all other books have changed it. And the proof is, when you compare the Bibles, the different versions of the Bibles together, you will see the change. This is not the case with any version of the Quran, with any font that's written in. In any country, it's still in its original language that had been revealed to the Prophet ﷺ. It's Arabic, it's the language of the Qur'an that had been kept safe. This is the source of the pride of Muslims. This is the source that motivates the Muslims to continue on and on and on believing in Almighty Allah, trusting Him, and having all these pillars of Islam applied in their life, and having all these beliefs that they have the belief only in one creator whose name is Almighty God or Almighty Allah. And he is the God who created all human beings. And the other beliefs is the belief in the day of judgment, the belief in all the messengers, all the messengers and the prophets that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent to humanity and all the books that he sent, the Quran, the Torah, and the Bible, and continuing on and on, they believe also in Al-Qadr, the destiny or the predestination. These beliefs, the Muslims get them from this Qur'an and from the Sunnah 
of the Prophet The two inseparable sources of Islam that we learn from it. And that's why, alhamdulillah, every Muslim on this planet, since the time of the Prophet until the day of judgment, will continue believing in the Quran as the book of Almighty Allah that was sent to all human beings to guide them to do the right things. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Mamdur Nuruddin Muhammad.